we have a very popular man. Uh, last week we uh, talked about John the Baptist as well. We uh, came out of the Gospel of Mark last week, but it was it was the story of John the Baptist. And you remember who it said came out to see him? Who can remember that? Pharisees did come out to see him. Who else? George, can you just hit mute on that? You know, what there? You can't hear it, but there's a speaker right here that I'm hearing at Christmas. Thanks. Who came out to see him? What did Mark say? It's about relationships. It's about 
about love. So there's nothing wrong with that, but we spend so much time. Christmas letters and dinner parties, our, our calendars are crowded with events. We certainly have to make enough time for all that shopping if we're going to spend $450 billion in America on Christmas gifts. It certainly takes a lot of our time to do that shopping. You know what that breaks down to? I, I, I saw another uh, slide somewhere. That breaks down to $900 a family. If, if the census statistics are, are, are accurate as to how many people there are and how many families in, in America, $900 a family, $450 billion on Christmas gifts a year. My fear is, is that we're forgetting that, that Christmas is not what holds the supreme importance of this time of year, but it only holds a supporting role. It reminds us who God is through Jesus Christ. We learned last week in the children's message, let's see if we learned it, that Emmanuel, Emmanuel means? God with us. We have some confusion. Um, Emmanuel means God with us. And Jesus means? God saves, right. That's the meaning of Christmas. Jesus, God with us, and God saves. Christmas is, a, is celebrated in a secular sense by millions of people. Millions of people who have no relationship with Jesus Christ whatsoever. I'm sure. And I'm not talking about people sitting here in, in, in pews today. That's not what I mean. But there are people who wear these kinds of ties and wear Santa hats and have a wonderful time partying and drinking and, and carrying on that do not have a relationship with Jesus Christ. Christmas to them is not about the Christ. They celebrate the decorations on their houses and trees. They, they celebrate com, uh, commercialism and consumerism. They celebrate Santa Claus and snowmen. They celebrate gift giving, but not for the reason that we give gifts, and overeating. Perhaps for the reason we overeat. <laughs> Christmas for them is not a time of receiving the one whose birth it announces. And it's sad. It's a sad thing. It's not a quiet time of reflection on the meaning of God with us. It is not a time of remembering that God sent his own son to bring peace, the shalom, wholeness, wholeness, and healing into a world that rebelled against him. Again, I think we heard that in the children's message uh, this morning, talking about how God chose each and every one of us to be in relationship with us, even while 